everyone. Welcome back to how to use Google Analytics. This is the series I'm going to be doing all about Google Analytics and helping you bloggers and YouTubers understand analytics a little bit better because it can be a little bit confusing. So we're going to be creating a report that will tell you when most of your traffic is coming to your site. So whether that's 10 o'clock in the morning or 11 o'clock at night, this report will tell you exactly what times of day are your most popular times on either your YouTube channel or on your blog as well. So I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a custom report by the hours and the page views. So let's get going. Okie dokie, so I am on my happylittleplaces.com uh, Google Analytics page. So I'm gonna go into all website data I'm going to click on customization and I'm going to create a new custom report and this is going to be called um, page views per hour because that is what we're trying to find out and then I'm going to put that as hours I'm going to keep it as an explorer type so the metric I want to look at is users and page views because we want to find out how many page views per hour we are getting. So metric is page views and dimension drill downs we are going to go on time and hour. Is it hour or hour index? Hours of the day, um, date and hour. I'm going to go hour of the day. Uh, da, 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 don't need filters, all website data, save. So that will create an hour of the day table. So as you can see, this says 4 a.m., 8 a.m., 12, 6, 6, 4 even, and 8. So that is how you create the actual table thing. And I'll just show you on my normal blog, because obviously I need some data to actually show you how it works. I have one in here called hours. And this is basically what you'll get once your website has collected data. So it says page views. So this tells me how many page views I get at what time of the day. So like here, seven o'clock in the morning, I get 108 page views. So that's from, is this from a month? March 25th to the 25th? Yes, so this is in a month, um, the average time that I have the most page views. So on this, you can obviously see I get the most page views at six o'clock in the afternoon, that's 129. And then down here is a handy little table that puts it all in order for you. So you can go down and go, okay, my number one time for my blog to like post to my blog is six o'clock, and the second is 12, and then the next one is one, and then two, and then seven. So it's really, really handy to try and figure out what kind of time of day maybe you should be posting your actual posts. I tend to use this as more of a when to promote my posts, just because I'm very limited to at what times of the day I can actually post. Because I usually post at 8 a.m. every day, and that gives me time to promote throughout the day. And then I will use this to sort of determine what times people are sort of generally online. And yeah, so that kind of tells me when I should be promoting, when people are visiting my page. And it also gives me a good idea as well of if people in the US and people in the UK are looking at it, is there a time that's sort of average for both? So by the looks of this, I'm getting more people in the UK and then less people in the US just because the early hours are a little bit less. So that usually means that either people in the UK are not up that early or people in the US aren't looking at that time of day. So yeah, I'm rambling now. But yeah, basically I love, love, love this report. I use it all the time. This is probably my most used report ever. So hopefully that has given you an idea of how to sort of measure the traffic coming into your blog and what times of day you should be posting and stuff like that. Again, it works exactly the same for YouTube. Um, once you've talked up your Google Analytics to YouTube, you can do it exactly the same and find out when people are watching your videos and things like that. So that is all for now. I hope you found that interesting and I hope it was helpful. If it was, remember to give me a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe as well for lots more videos. And I will leave you there. So goodbye. Bye.